So I'd like to go into other features and technology. So, you know, we talked about the system, we talked about the MIG grab, you know, what else is available for this, you know, grab egg chain lifting sling? The key word with the grab egg system really is uh, flexibility. So you can do a bunch of different types of hitches. You can do adjusting slings, you can adjust the leg length with much more precision using the kind of GT tensioner, which is a, it looks like a ratchet, but it actually features a clevis and is approved for lifting. So it's proof tested two and a half times the working load limit and works with the grab system. So there's just a bunch of different types of slings that you could uh, create with the grab Some of them requires uh, different types of end fittings, such as if you're making a choking sling, it would be preferable to use a CL choker, as you see here instead of using a hook because you get a much tighter choke. You can also use it together with a quick pin to lock it onto the chain and you create a sliding enclosed choker. It's also much more durable because it's a single forged piece rather than uh, several components. And because of the length, it also creates a much tighter choke. So you have less risk of the load slipping out. So there's a bunch of different end fittings uh, for different types of uh, uses just to create that flexibility. So as you can see, we have I grab hooks, we have clevis grab hooks, grab hooks with uh, locking pins, we have sling hooks, uh, foundry hooks, uh, we have swivel hooks of different types, uh, either with uh, the uh, self-locking hooks or the sling style. You can add handles to it to increase safety even further. And we also have this, which is a uh, container hook fitting. So you have all of these different options for, for end fittings just to create different types of slings and different types of hitches depending on the situation. So really flexibility is the, the key with a grabbing system. And if you want to increase the flexibility even further, you can go to something called the flexileg. So one of the issues that you run into when you're using a chain sling is that sometimes you cannot use all legs. So in this case here, you can see that the guy has a three leg traditional sling, but he can only connect one leg. The tag says three eighths, three leg, working loan limit, uh, 18,000 pounds. So he says, okay, three legs, 18,000 pounds. Is one leg also 18,000 pounds? And he probably realizes that it isn't, but he doesn't know what it is. And he doesn't have time to go. As you said, he needs to knock it out before lunch. So he says, well, the chain looks big enough. I'll just do this one lift. And that's really when, when accidents happen. Um, so another thing that came up when we developed the graphic system was that I have a four leg chain sling and sometimes I need to use, use a choking uh, sling or choking, choking basket and I need to connect two legs. What do I do with the other two legs? Do I just tie them up and go and look at a table for the correct working load limit? And that's really not the appropriate way of doing it. Um, because you could also run into issues um, as you see here where either if you tie them up or if you don't tie them up, you could hit somebody in the head. And if you have a sling style hook, you can snag onto shelves and pull the shelves down. So there's a risk involved with using less legs, uh, even if you would use the appropriate capacity. So we came up with a way to add or remove legs as needed together with something called the quick pin. So with the quick pin, uh, that really allows you to add or remove legs as needed um, to the sling. So you can use it either with the CLs and the CLD for non-adjustable slings or the CG and the CGD. And here you'll see it with a CG for an integrated grab to create an adjustable sling as well. So partly this also makes it more ergonomic because you can put the master link on and then you can put on one leg and then two legs. So that kind of removes part of what you have there with a uh, heavy assembly and having to have an unergonomic lift when you put it up there. But it also creates a solution that you can add or remove legs as needed. And we have this uh, special tag that we use with it. So this is, we have one for each size. This is half inch and it shows you the capacity for one leg, two legs, three legs, four legs. And on the back side you have serial number and then you have sub tags that go onto each of these sub assemblies showing the serial number uh, as well. So if you have 001 here, you have 001 here and you know that they tie together. So this really gives you even more flexibility when using a sling because you can create a one leg sling, a two leg sling, a three leg sling and a four leg sling on the site without having to use different types of slings, which is really great for applications where you go out and you really don't know what's going to go on. You go out to a work site with a service truck or with a mobile crane 
and you're going to do a bunch of different lifting. You're going to lift rebars, you're going to lift a wall section, you're going to lift a container. And this really allows you to do all those different types of lifts without bringing a lot of extra rigging gear with you. What I'm noticing is that you're just trying to make it easy to understand in the moment. So when the person's up there, they're getting ready to sling something, if they're not 100% sure and confident what they're doing, you're trying to make sure that the, the solve is already there. The tag, it's gonna give you all your ratios, one, two, three. If you need to remove a leg, go ahead and rip it off. Here's how to do that. And I, I like that style of thinking. It's very end user focused thinking to make sure that people are making those right calls or not rushing through, through things that the, the opportunity for failure is lessened by taking the extra time to look at what these products are and how they're used and then, you know, trained enough to use and use properly. So I, I do really appreciate that from a end user standpoint, how much work has been done to help make sure that they are as set up as possible for success. That's awesome. Yeah, and it really is, uh, it hinges on the, on the end user. They really need to understand what you're doing, but they shouldn't have to worry about the information. All the information should be there. They just need to understand how to use it. I think that's a really good segue, especially since we're talking about training and you know use and application into repairability. What's the repairability like for these systems? So that's another great benefit with chain slings in general is the repairability. Um, it's much easier to change out a broken hook, for example, on a chain sling with a clevis than it is to change it out on a wire rope where uh, essentially you would have to create a new leg, um, if not a new sling. Uh, and splice it on there. So uh, the repairability is similar to what you would have with any chain sling, um, but because you have fewer components as well, uh, it's easier to, you, have, you should have less issue with it and it should be easier to inspect and to maintain uh, as well. But of course, sometimes you will side load a hook and you can um, very easily repair it or uh, replace it. So we kind of talked about bad fit. Um, are there any specific areas where you see these things are rock stars? They do everything that's needed. Um, they're working even better than people thought. You know, where are these things absolutely dynamite? The key word with the whole Grabic system is flexibility. And really where we see the Grabic system working much better than any other type of uh, sling or even other types of chain slings is where the end user needs that flexibility. So if you're in a job shop, you're moving different types of tools around your shop. Uh, if you're on a construction site, I mean, if you go walk down the street in any city, you will see they're lifting pipes, they're lifting wall sections, they're lifting garbage cans. And there's just so many different types of lifts going on. So really where you need that flexibility is where the graphic system really excels and works so much better than any other types of system, just because it's easy to use, you have your information there, and you can take a decision on the site of how to adjust your sling to work for that particular lift in a safe manner. A couple more points I wanna hit are on like inspection criteria for these systems. Can you just tell me like what standards apply to these and like what the inspection you know frequency is and criteria is over all of these uh, Grabic lifting slings? The Grabic sling, it, I mean, it still is a chain sling and it will follow the uh, inspection criteria that you see in ASME B30.9. Um, how you inspect it is very similar to any type of chain sling. So if you have a self-locking hook, for example, you need to check the clearance and the tolerances of the hook tip versus the hook body matchup. You need to make sure that you inspect all the loading points. You need to inspect for any opening of the hook or reduction in dimensions through wear, uh, elongation of the chain. So it really is uh, as inspecting any other type of chain sling. Um, we reckon, of course, that will depend on where you are in the local regulations and the company regulations as well. But as a general rule, uh, during normal use and normal conditions, you should inspect it, uh, send it in to a, an appropriate inspection company at least um, once a year to do a complete inspection and make sure that you keep a register of that it's been inspected. If a hook needs to be changed, that should also be noted in the registry so you keep a track of the chain sling over the whole lifetime of it. And many chain slings, if you maintain and inspect them properly and change the hooks as they wear out, uh, will last you for 20, 30 years. I mean, we've seen slings coming back that are that old. Where do people learn more about these systems? If they're you know, interested in buying them, you know, I, I know a handful of people sell them, but if they want to learn more about the manufacturing or the process, where would you want them to go to learn more about the graphic system? We do have a lot of information on the Gunnaboy Industries website. So it's just gunnaboyindustries.com and 
under products you have most of the information so you have products technical information and then you have a little bit about the innovation and in, and the industry but here you'll find user instructions we'll talk about the quality working load limits infographics you, you can find a way to the mid mid grab calculator as well um, and then under the product you will find all the dimensions uh, you will also have uh, CAD drawings if you need to uh, engineer anything you can find the CAD drawings and just download them directly from the website just select whatever size you need and then which type of uh, format you need them in and then you can download them uh, and under downloads you also have a lot of uh, product information both in terms of the user instructions again and the product catalog uh, and the product catalog really is a great source of material you have your inspection criteria in there so uh, go to the Imperial so if you download the the catalog or you have a printed copy of it this is really where you'll find a lot of great information as well both on the benefits of the product but also uh, working load limits uh, other types of products uh, for example if you need a larger master link we have master links specially designed for DIN type crane hooks which you're starting to see more and more on overhead cranes and even on mobile cranes we have oversized master links and uh, all the product information and uh, the dimensions are here as well so if you need to inspect your uh, master link or your hook for any type of uh, deformation or wear all that information will be in here and at the end of each chapter we also have the technical information which includes uh, all the spare parts as well as the extreme environment so how how you can go in terms of the temperature or low uh, the inspection requirements, uh, use instructions, uh, reduction in working load limits for certain applications such as lifting over hard edges, inspection criteria for the hook both for material and personal handling. Um, so the catalog contains a lot of information, uh, it's quite large and quite long but uh, it does have uh, its purpose as a reference uh, catalog as well. But the Ganaba Industries website is really where you'll find most of the information. You'll also find some videos from the factory as well as uh, instruction videos. And then for any news or uh, other updates, our LinkedIn page, the Ganaba Industries LinkedIn site is also uh, great. We had said earlier on that the, the purpose of the Lifting and Rigging channel is to be an educational resource just so the entire industry can get more information and learn. So this conversation is a fantastic starting point, but you know the catalogs, the manufacturer product guidelines, I mean, those are the things that you're going to get the most value out of as far as true actual you know stats on what you can do, what you can't do, how to inspect you know, all that stuff is on there. So as much as, you know, we, we'd love you to consider trying, you know, whatever lifting sling we talk about, it's so vital that you go through and you actually find out exactly what training material is that you need to educate your workers on. So they're making the correct decisions with these lifting products. So um, Felix, that was awesome. Thank you very much. The purpose of these conversations, the reason that we even have social media presence is because we want to make sure that the industry overall is learning more information, that their information is good and up to date, and that if people have questions, they can ask them and get them answered. So, you know, on, on both the Lifting Rigging channel and recently on Crosby, I mean, they have um, Ask the Experts series, so you can specifically ask questions about stuff that you might not understand, and both of our teams are working to get those answered for you. So whether you're, you're checking it out on the Lifting and Rigging channel or on the Crosby side, we don't care where you get your information as much as the fact that you're getting your information from a source that's reputable and has ties back to the guidance and manufacturing and guidelines and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think that, that's another thing to add to it as well. Uh, Crosby partners are not just resellers of the Crosby product. They're Crosby partners. They need to be expert at and in our products as well. So a lot of uh, time uh, is not just training the end users, it's training our partners such as Masella as well to make sure that everybody that's working with the graphic system at Masella is a graphic expert as well and can answer any questions. Well, Felix, I thought this was a fantastic conversation. I really appreciate your time today, uh, just hanging out with me and talking about the, the graphic chainsling system and then just, you know, lifting overall. Like, I think this is an awesome conversation. No, thank you so much, Devin, and, and thank you for inviting me. I, I really appreciate the time. And uh, I used to be in sales now in product management, so I don't get to go out, uh, especially now during Corona, as, as I used to. So talking to our partners, is I always appreciate it. Uh, it's what I love about this industry is that... Uh, People are down to earth and uh, they've been, m many people have been in the industry for a long time. So uh, I really appreciate the opportunity and, and uh, talking about 
Ganabo and, and the Gravic product line as well as the Crosby and lifting as, as a whole. Happy to do it. So uh, thank you guys at home for watching. You know, we cover a ton of information. We gave you a lot of resources. I'll have a bunch of links in the YouTube description of the video. I'll also have a bunch of links no matter where we post this. So you can find our other resources, you know, the Gunabo Industries and Crosby resources. So you have everything that you need that you can find. So um, if you like this video, like it, share it with your peers or friends or coworkers, anybody that might benefit specifically if they're thinking about switching from a, their current chain uh, slings system to a newer one or they're just looking for a, a better solution uh, definitely share this with them so they can see it consider subscribing to the lifting rigging channel or anything from crosby or gunboat industries and make sure that you're always staying up to date on the new content that we're making each and every week and again thank you for your time we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time